What's up YouTube, this is Mr. Random Z Guy one and today I'm going to be showing you how to hack your PSP on a 6.60 firmware. If you don't have the 6.60 firmware, I'm going to be showing you how to get that. And this works for all PSPs, include, including PSP Go. So I'm going to quickly show you that my firmware is on 6.60 there. Alright, I'm going to be showing you what you need to do on the computer now. Once in USB mode, open up the folder to view the files. Go to PSP and go to Game. Now I'll show you what to do. There'll be two links in the description, one for PSP Go and one for PSP 1000 models, 2000 models, and 3000 models. So I have a PSP Slim 2000, so you want to extract this and open up the folder and go to Game. Now I'm going to explain briefly what the folders are. So update is the official firmware, which is 6.60. So if you don't have the official firmware, of 6.60 you, you will need this, but if you do already have it then you don't need this. This is the pro update for the custom firmware and fast recovery, I'll explain what that is in a little while. Drag all of these into your PSP. Alright, once that's done, I'll show you what you need to do on your PSP. Alright, once you exit out of USB mode, scroll to the right and go to Games. Alright, this is the PSP update version 6.60, so if you don't have the official firmware, make sure you drag that update folder, like how I said, if you need it, and run the application and you'll get the 6.60 update firmware. So once that's done, if you need to do that, run the Pro Update application. Alright, so what you need to do is press X to install the custom firmware and, and press X to exit out. Alright, so if you press select, the VSH menu will come up, so uh, right there. So you'll know that it's hacked now. So, um, but when you turn your PSP off, the custom firmware will go away. I'll show you how to fix that. So the uh, so, turn it back on. Alright, if I press select, it won't come up. So, just go to games. And this is when you use the fast recovery app. So, you use this, and your custom firmware will just come back. Alright, see when I press select the VSH menu pops up. So, alright, I'm just going to scroll to the left to system settings. And there you have it 6.60 Pro B9. So, this is how you hack your PSP custom firmware on 6.60 firmware. So, please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you.